hi guys welcome to another episode of creative crafts with miss adriana so for today's activity we are going to be making a groundhog day craft now for my friends out there who don't know what groundhog day is it's basically a holiday where we wait to see a groundhog come out of the ground and predict the weather it's so cool if you guys want to figure out how i created this cute little guy his name is gregory by the way I think he's so adorable if you want to figure out how i created this cute little guy stay tuned for the rest of this video so for our crafters corner question today i'm going to be asking you what does it mean when the groundhog plays its shadow is it a flowers will bloom b six more weeks of winter or c 10 days of heavy rain stay tuned to the end of this video to find out the answer for this activity you will need one small sheet of pink construction paper, one sheet of white construction paper, two sheets of brown construction paper, one paper plate, one black marker, one big paintbrush, one tube of brown paint, one glue stick, one black pom-pom, a pair of big googly eyes, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. Okay, so to begin, I'm going to uncap my brown color. I'm going to add it to my painter's plate. And you're only gonna use like a super small amount, like a dime-sized amount. Then you're going to dip your paintbrush in some water, and then you're gonna put it into the brown. You're going to start painting the plate. Don't be afraid to be generous with your brown. If you need some more brown, you're more than welcome to take some more and paint over whatever you already have. Okay, when you're done, you just set this off to the side to dry. So on the white paper, we'll be drawing the groundhog's teeth. So to begin, we're going to draw two rectangle shapes. And then we're going to cut it out. that aside. Put our two teeth to the side here. Now for our pink paper we are going to be drawing the inside of the groundhog's ears. So you're just going to draw one little line, another little line, and you're going to draw an oval-ish shape. And now to cut. Now, on the brown paper, we'll be drawing the groundhog's feet. Now, you're just going to start with a W shape. You're going to draw around one foot done. On to the next one. And you're going to cut it out. Lastly, we'll be using a circular object. 
to create the cheeks and the ears of our groundhog. Now for the ears, you're only going to draw like a C shape with your circular object. And then for the bottom, you're just going to draw a straight line. So again, it's a C shape. You're going to be drawing a C shape with your circular object. And then you're going to draw a straight line across. Now we have our ears, our cheeks, our feet, the inside of our ears, and our teeth. So before we assemble the face, we're going to put together the ears of the groundhog. Put that to the side. Take our glue, put it on the back of the pink paper. Stick it towards the bottom of the ear. So like that. Okay. So we're going to take that, put that to the side. Going to put our glue to the side. Now we're going to position our cheeks. We're going to draw a, f a mouth for our groundhog. Take our, bra our black marker, draw a smiley face. Like so. I'm going to add glue. to glue the nose. We're gonna put some glue on the back of our pom pom. Just enough. I'm going to stick it right there. Then we're going to glue our eyes. We're going to go back in with our black marker and darken in our lines. So here I'm going to be cutting the teeth that we created just a tiny bit so it's not too long. Now we're going to glue on our teeth under the black line we created. Just push down everything, and make sure it's all secure. Just add glue to the bottom of our ears. I'm going to place it at the top and we're going to press down right here. Now for the feet, it's the same thing, but we're going to just put a little bit of glue on the corn on the top corners of our feet I'm going to press down same thing for this one I'm going to put some glue on the top here I'm going to press down onto the plate and there you have it our groundhog friend for groundhog day I think I'm gonna name him Gregory <laughs> okay uh-huh oh hi guys <laughs> thank you guys for crafting with us today i hope you guys had a fun time 
making your mini um, groundhog. So for our crafter corner question from earlier, the answer was B, six more weeks of winter. So if a groundhog sees a shadow on February 2nd, that means six more weeks of winter. But if it doesn't, that means spring is nearby. I hope you guys had a fun time crafting with me today. I will see you guys in our next video. Bye.